Hello, my crafty loving friends. This is Shelly from Repurpose My Way. Today we're going to refresh some home decor that I have. This is an old heavy metal napkin holder that, that really doesn't go with my decor. And an old basket that I really wasn't interested in the color of in my house. So I wanted to freshen them up a little bit and make them come more alive with uh, a little bit of a lighter color on them. So we're going to start with the owl project number one and we are going to put two coats of the mineral gray paint on this owl. He, I really do like his uh, stained glass colors that are kind of in there but it's really not my style or anything that I would use in my house so I wanted to give him a refresh. And I think this mineral paint, which is a light, light gray, goes over it very nicely. It's a brown undertone gray, um, so I really like that color. And I think it goes with some of my items, especially the ones in my kitchen. I've never seen a heavy, heavy metal napkin ring made the way this one was. This is very unique. Uh, it's got a screw on the back of it that goes all the way through that you can take off and that owl could just sit on its own. It doesn't need, or it needs the stand to stand up, but you can take that whole back off. So if you don't want to use it as a napkin holder, you could take that off and do something else with it, which I kind of thought of once I found that, which all I did was paint over the screw so it wouldn't be hard to take it apart. So I may end up doing that at some point and doing something different with it. So as you saw, I used my heat gun and I dried off that second or that first coat so that I could put on the second coat of paint. The first coat actually covered very well, but I wanted to make sure I had a good covering on here just because it is metal and wasn't sure how well it would hold the paint. So I thought two coats would be would work a lot better. Now I decided I was going to, I need to seal this, so I was going to put some white wax on it and then wipe it back and see what it looked like. I think it's going to look really neat because it has a lot of indents, definition, details that I think that wax will sit down in. Once I wipe it off, it will make those pop a little bit more. And so I went all over the owl, just on the front side, and brushed that on and then wiped it back. Now this wax is white wax, but I made this with clear wax and some white paint. I used just a little bit of white paint in a little dish of clear wax and mix it together. Of course you want to use however strong you want your white to be in your white wax. You would want to use more or less paint. So you start out with a small amount and then work into more if you feel that you need it. It's yeah, I just usually put a dab in there to give it a little bit of color. And on to project number two. I thought this would be fun to do because it's an owl as well. It has a little owl face on it. And I thought it would be easy to take some of these extra pieces that were on there to give it that owl face off. It was with some of it and I didn't want to damage the basket, which I did when I took the nose off. If you just saw, uh, it put a little hole in the basket, but that's okay because I am going to put a covering over it. Now here I'm trying to take, I guess, what would be the feathers or the wings of the owl. And I started to peel it off and I saw that it was going to be really more of a hassle than anything. And I didn't want to... Uh, ruin the basket by trying to pull that off and make giant holes. It was glued on there really really well So I decided to leave it and just paint over it. I think most of it will be covered 
and it'll just end up being part of the basket uh, once it's all done. So I am going to do just one coat on this basket. I know I probably should do a second coat, but I don't mind the colors of the basket coming through. I'm going to be going over it with the white wax on this as well, which will also cover some of that. And then I'll be doing another layer over that. So I think it's just going to add to the worn, old, uh, painted over and over again look to it which is kind of what I'm going for just rustic and primitive something that has looks like it's been used and abused uh, over many many years So with this project as well, I'm taking my white wax that I had made up and just going to put that all over the basket and try and fill in some of the holes where you can see the brown through and then wipe it back and just see it pop. It just changes it so much when it does that. It adds dimension. It really looks kind of cool. I really like it. it really lightens up the basket as well it takes the color and lightens the color up a little and gives uh, the variety of the brown and the darker gray and the lighter gray and then the white from the white wax so it gives lots of dimension to that basket I am going to add another layer on top of this one, uh, on this and the owl, to make it pop and just give it more dimension uh, and more aged look as well. Okay, so now I'm going to take my owl and my basket that have both been painted and white waxed, and I'm going to take some Waverly paint in the color ink which is a black color and I'm going to take a dry brush and go over the basket first and age the basket I'm just gonna take a dry brush I really when I first started I don't think I had it dry enough I kind of went on a little wet uh, too wet but that's okay well I can always if I don't like it, go back with the gray and tone it back, or even the white wax and tone it back. But this gives another uh, aged look, another dimension, or another level of color that you're going to see through that basket if you were to really look at it closely. And I really like how it came out and made the basket, the weave in the basket pop. On this owl, I really could have left it with the gray and the white wax on it. I thought it was really cute, but I'm glad that I went the next step and just took a little bit of a dry brush of the black uh, or the ink Waverly paint and went over it because I think it really made it pop right out. You could see all the lines and the the feathers and the definition in the owl. It was so cute.
happy that I decided to do a refresh on these. They, I think they came out really cute and match my decor a lot better. Um, I like the rusticness of it and of them both. I think they pop a lot more than they did before. And hopefully you like them too. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day.